Hi everyone, it's Michael Dougal with Remax Premier. I appreciate you tuning in to watch this short message. I'm shooting this June the 9th, 2019. Very excited because we have all the data from May 2019. The Toronto Real Estate Board has published all the information. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to um, show you five charts that I think you may find interesting. The first, of course, is our chart over here, which displays the sales, active listings, months of inventory, average price, and days on market. So you can see that... Um, there was a similar increase of sales and active listings from April to May 2019, which was just almost about 11% increase. The months of inventory has been constant, although it is a lot lower than it was in January. So January, we're looking at three months of inventory and May, we're looking at two months of inventory. And similarly, you can see the um, change in average price. Although it's only up by 2.2% over the past month, there is a very significant change uh, from January to May 2019 before it was 748,000. Now it's at 839,000. And the average days on market, that's also decreased. Although from April to May, it was similar. Let's look at the second chart over here. And this over here displays the number of listings and sales each year during this particular time. So what's interesting is in 2019, the number of sales during the month of May was very similar to the number of sales in 2017. Although you can see that the number of active listings now is higher. So which is shown by the months of inventory in 2017, it was only at 1.8. This third chart over here shows the trend in the months of inventory. You can see along the axis at the bottom, it shows January to December. As you can see here, there's three different lines. So if we look at May 2017, which is that purple line, we can see that when the market made that substantial change, the months of inventory did then trend upwards. The difference during 2017, you can see it's a very, very large fluctuation. And then in 2019, what's very interesting is that our months of inventory is coming down and I would expect it to be somewhat stable. So it's a great time for buyers right now because my experience, a lot of buyers last year were really on the sidelines. They weren't sure whether the market was going to increase or a decrease. Therefore, they just did not want to buy. And now it seems that there's just overall more consumer confidence. So buyers are back into the market, which is great. Um, over here, we take a look at the micro market. So we can see that they're separated by 416 and 905. So the lowest months of inventory are specifically for semi-detached homes and detached homes are obviously the highest months of inventory. And then over here, we can see the uh, average price. And again, this is just for the month of May. So in May 2017, that was the peak. We're at $862,149. And 2019 here, $838,540. So we can see that uh, prices have come up over the past year, better than dropping. And hopefully it comes back to what they were in 2017 if you are a homeowner that is thinking of selling. I hope all this information was helpful. If yourself or anyone you know is thinking of buying or selling or just has questions, I'm Michael Dougal. I'm here for all your real estate needs. I'd love to help. Call me, call me, call me. 416-671-5218. Don't forget to click like if you enjoyed this video. Comment below. I do review all the comments and feel free to share this video to anyone else who may find the information helpful. You can just simply forward the email if you receive this by email or copy and paste the YouTube link. And I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.